Do you know what a cat's tongue brush is? Hi, welcome to my studio. I'm Sindra. I just finished doing a tutorial all about these brushes on my Patreon site uh, for my buds that signed up there. And you're always welcome to as well, by the way, patreon.com slash Sindra. And I just finished showing them all the brushes that it reminds me of and what you can do. And I thought I'd pop in and do a little short tease about that in case you've never heard of it. So I'm just on some scratch paper. Here are the cat's tongue brushes. I have it in size 10 on the left, and that's a, a Fumio. And then I have with Princeton Neptune, a size one half. And they're both just kind of short and stubby. And I'll turn it towards the left a little bit for the side camera, um, as opposed to, for example, like a dagger brush. Let me catch that one straight on. A dagger brush, this is also a Neptune Princeton. Um, a dagger brush has one side. Let me get it wet so you can see the correct uh, shape. A dagger brush is one long side and a slanted edge to a nice clean tip. And it's a longer brush area. Whereas this, since these are both Princeton Neptune similar size, I can show them side by side and you can clearly see the difference. The cat's tongue comes to a nice little point just like this, but it's short and stubby. It also is a point in the middle. There's all kinds of cool things you can do with it, um, including, um, oh, let me give you an example. I just started here. You can go straight down, point, flat all the way, and I'm doing a nice rounded petal, just to give you an idea. And you can also uh, paint with it sideways and kind of the same general look. Here's a sideways look of what I'm doing. Um, it has a lot of control. So there's a lot of kind of cool things um, because the tip is so tiny that it's going to let you just really get into some details while also doing the point press down release look. And you can do it double. You can do one leaf. You can do a side view of that. They're really lovely for leaves as well. So that is your intro to what these brushes are all about. There's certain brush strokes that it's just super easy to do with a cat's tongue, but I will not call this brush I will not call it an essential brush. I would call it one that's just really fun as you continue on in your watercolor adventure and figure out different strokes that can be done. That's what I would say this is great for. I hope that's helpful. Take care. And by the way, will you please subscribe if you're enjoying some of my little hints and tidbits and if it's something that's fun for you and you want to hear more, please subscribe and maybe even consider, I mean, if I'm so bold to ask to do the bell as well. <laughs> All right. I hope you do. And I hope you stay in touch. I'm going to put a little sideways leaf right there just so we don't leave that flower naked. Hope you had fun with me. I always do with you too. Bye-bye.